Hi there everyone and welcome to my DAX Power Pivot and Data Modelling in Excel 2016. My name is Jilly Dow and I'm really pleased that you've chosen to take my course and I'm super excited to take you through your journey as we get to grips with data shaping, data analysis, data modelling, DAX expressions and lots of other loveliness. So just to reassure you about my credentials, I'm a Microsoft Office Master and I'm an Excel expert. I've been training for over 20 years from US military staff to NHS, private and public sector workers. But I've got to admit it's Excel every time. It's such a dynamic and vast application and I'm still learning 20 years on. Let's just go through the course outline together and as I mentioned before, we're going to be shaping and analysing our data. And there's a host of data sources that we can connect to. But in this course, we're going to concentrate our efforts on importing from Access, Microsoft Access and from Excel. Once the data's in our data model in the Power Pivot window, we're going to build relationships. So if you're a lover of VLOOKUPs, and I know I am, I think VLOOKUP is brilliant and it's gotten me out of a lot of scrapes in the past, but we're going to say goodbye to VLOOKUP. I'll teach you all about and how to set up hierarchies. You're going to love them guys. Super duper little filtering that we can hang on our power pivot tool belt. We're going to have a look at calculated columns. And in doing so, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of new functions called related and related table. Now, these are DAX specific functions and we're going to be building some expressions using the DAX formula language. Once we've got that under our belts, we're going to have a look at measures. Now, in 2013, these were called calculated fields. In 2010, they were called measures and Microsoft have changed their ways. They've seen the error of their ways and they've come back to using the term measures here in 2016. So using the DAX formula language, we're going to create some expressions using count and distinct count. We're gonna have a look at month and the date functions, and then I introduce you to calculate. Now guys, if you thought VLOOKUP was good, you are gonna love calculate. So we'll spend a bit of time on Calculate with some practice exercises just to reinforce. It's a massive subject, but I'm going to give you a really good idea of what its capabilities are. We'll combine Calculate and introduce the All function just to demonstrate the power that's under the hood of the Calculate function. Now drizzled all the way through the course, I'm, I'm going to highlight presentation. We're building reports for our end users and for our stakeholders. And we're gonna be proud of the data and the way that we shape our data and, and presentation is going to be key to our success. So I'm going to show you slices, some conditional formatting and some other top tips along the way. But before we get there guys, you're going to need some files and the user guide so that you can follow along. So then chaps, just to download everything that you need, you just come to section one, the introduction to the course, then you'll see the download and you'll just click on that and save as. Probably best just to do it in your documents folder, but it, it's up to you guys. So it's a zipped file and you just click on save. And when it's finished downloading, you can just open the folder and all of the files are there. We've got an adventure works, that's the access database. You've got the user guide, that's just a PDF. And you're either gonna print that out guys or just have it on, on your screen if you've got a couple of screens there and we'll just be working through this together. I'll periodically tell you exactly where I am in the user guide so that you can follow along. And we're going to be concentrating on the sales report and you'll just enable the editing and there's just two sheets in here. You should just see GW3, which is Group Work 3, and the practice exercise. And this taskbar along the bottom here will be full by the end of the course. Now you'll probably notice up at the top here in the title bar that it says Sales Report Read Only. If you 
click on save as and put it back in your documents folder and I would save it as sales report practice that way guys that if you want to do this again practice over and over again that you've always got a copy of the sales report for further practice somewhere down the line so we've got our course outline in the bag we know what's ahead of us next up if we just go back to the course then we'll be creating the data model so i'll see you there guys in group work one can't wait to get started see you then